Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play rat -a tat cat It's ages six and up, two to six players, and it takes 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to have the lowest score at the end of the game. Here we have a three-player game set up. The dealer deals out four cards face down to each player. Do not look at your cards. Uh, the cards they can be are from zero to nine, and they start with, there's cute little cat pictures on zero through five, and then there are rats or the high scoring cards that you don't want for six, seven, eight, and nine. And there are also a few specialty cards that I'll explain in a minute. Now, there are a few variants in gameplay depending on who you're playing with. If you're playing with younger children, uh, you might wanna flip up the two side cards at the beginning, and they'll just have these up for the entirety of the game. If you're playing with a really young kid or it's your first time through and somebody's nervous, you just flip up all of them and then you would remove the peak cards from the deck because there's nothing to peak, so you do not need them. Uh, but in a standard game, these are all flipped down and all you do get to do is secretly you look at these two cards and then that's it. You need to remember them and where they are because you are placing them back down and unless you draw a peak card, you do not get to look at any of your cards again for the rest of the game. If either of the cards you look at uh, are a power card, just leave it there. You don't do anything to it, but it also does not have its power. I'll put these power cards to the side for a minute before we tell you what they do. So to begin, the dealer puts the top card out to begin the discard pile. And what you do then on your turn, let's say this person was the dealer, the person to the left of the dealer goes first. And on your turn, you have a choice. You may either pick up the card from the discard pile and then you have to replace it with one of the cards over here or you can take a card from the draw pile and then you have a few choices for actions with this card. You can either, if it's if it's a bad card, if they had drawn a, or if they had drawn this eight and they didn't want it, you can just discard it. You don't even, you don't have to do anything with it. But they drew this three and they've looked at these two. So they're probably going to choose to replace one. So they put one here because they saw that and they knew it was a big one. And they're going to put this one here and their turn is over. If the card you flip over to start the discard pile is a power card, just turn over another card until you get a number card. Now play progresses clockwise and it's this person's turn. They also are going to choose not to take from the discard pile uh, because that's a big card. And I'm going to show you what the power cards do when you draw them. So they pick this card, Peak. And Peak, you can only use on yourself and you can only use on one card. So they've already seen these two cards. So they might do this only for themselves. Nobody else would see this. They look at this card, say, aha, now I know, and discard this card. And it's this person's turn. Now on this person's turn, they you cannot draw a power card from the discard pile and use it before it's power. You can draw any card you want from the discard pile and replace a card over here with it, but it would be um, not, don't do that with power cards. You can't do that. So now they're going to draw a card and they draw a swap card. Uh, they are going to pick a card and they cannot look at it and they're going to trade it with somebody else's card and they cannot look at that. So sometimes you've seen someone uh, draw from the discard pile a really good card or you know they picked something from here and traded out a big card so it's probably a good card so you can kind of use deduction but you trade two cards without looking them at either of them and that's it for your turn. You don't have to perform the swap action if you do not want to. If you have no idea or you just would prefer to keep the cards you already have, you can choose to just discard this and have that be it. It's this person's turn. They're going to draw and they drew draw two. And how this works is you would go ahead and put this down so everyone can see it and draw a card which only you look at. You can choose to either use this card and have that be it for your turn. But this is a pretty big card, so they would probably discard it and choose to take the next card and hope it's better. They drew this card and aha, it is a two. It is indeed a lot better. And so they would perform a normal action for that. If it was another large card, they might just discard it again and that was it for their turn. But it's a two, so they're gonna trade it here and discard this one. Ending a round of play. 
if it's this person's turn and they draw this card and decide to replace this card with it, they might think, ooh, I think I have the lowest points now. So whoever finishes their turn and thinks, I have the lowest points, I want this round to end, they just knock on the table and say, rat-a-tat cat. At that point, everyone else gets one more turn. It does not matter who the dealer was, who went first, this person went, knocked, and now everybody else in play gets another turn. So this person is going to draw and say nope to that. This person is going to draw and say nope to that. So that was it. Everybody now gets to reveal their cards and tally up their scores. Most of this is pretty clear. Yes, this player won. They only had six points. This person had 17. Uh, for this player, if you have any of the power cards in your hand, you, at the end of the game, it's risky. You don't know what's going to happen. You, in the order, in according to turn order, you discard your power card and then play. So if multiple people had power cards, if this player and this player did, then this person would discard their power card first and draw a new one, and then this player would um, discard their power card and draw another one. If you draw an additional power card, then you discard that one too and draw until you get a number card. So they didn't get that great of one. They got a seven. Tally of your score, 21 points over here. Write it down. And uh, rat a tat cat you have a few choices for how you play the game. You can either play for a certain number of rounds, you can play for a specific length of time, or you can play to stay in the game and not reach 100 points. When you reach 100 points, you would be out of the game. The last player in the game would be the winner. Uh, you can also choose to play to 200 or any other number of points that you would like. And for your next round of play, you gather up all of the cards and shuffle them, and then this person becomes the dealer and they deal out a fresh round of play. So that's how to play rat -a cat Simple, easy, instant classic, and it always seems like the kids beat the adults at the memory-themed games, so they'll like this a lot. Check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother. <laughs>